hey guys what's up and welcome back to another episode of it's about everything so in today's episode i'm going to show you another dc fan so this video is similar to my last video only the difference is that here i have the entire fan and the last video was just about the motor and that was an old motor but this one is pretty new it was manufactured two or three years back and it was manufactured by a company called Senio and I bought this motor uh, this fan actually a second hand fan I bought this from the other guy who sold it to me at about uh, 200 uh, 250 200 rupees I'm not sure about the price because I bought it about a year ago year or two and this fan is actually uh, two years probably three years old so the fan actually spins pretty fast but it feels like the motor is also jammed and it was not operational for the last few months or last year I believe so I'm going to service this motor as well so you can see it opens up in a different way it's a two part uh, fan casing so the front part is on the side and now before opening the blade I'm going to uh, test it with the battery so you can see this is the fan that I've made and the difference is that the fan cover is two part and the other one is a single unit the blade also looks similar so the casing and the motor diameter everything is almost similar but the difference is the net the casing of the fan blade So in my other video, the previous video where I have serviced a DC motor similar to this one uh, that was completely jammed and it was not spinning up fast and the magnet, the field magnet was not that much powerful but I believe the field magnet in this motor is pretty powerful because the motor is jammed and still it's spinning fast. So you can hear how fast this fan is rotating and as soon as I disconnect it from the battery it stops spinning because the motor is jammed for sure all the lubricating grease and everything that it had I think it's dried up so let's open it So the fan blade is similar to the other one that I had. The weight and everything is similar. And the shaft in this motor is pretty thick compared to the motor that I have serviced in my previous video. So let's open the net, the other part of the net. And then we are going to open the motor as well and have a look inside. So this fan uh, casing or net whatever you call it it's held by three screws and these three screws also holds the motor inside the casing. So opening these three screws will also open up the motor as well. So this motor has uh, the oscillating uh, gears and everything attached to it unlike my previous video in the previous motor it it had the casing but all the gears that it had inside is lost but here the complete uh, oscillation gears warm gears and everything is intact and it works so to open the back case I need to open the screws in the bottom so it was repaired before because I can see two screws are flathead and two screws are the regular star screws.
so here you can see it's completely out of the case and the motor looks a little bit different from the previous motor in my previous video so after opening the final screw you can see the entire motor so this is the oscillation mechanism in the back and it has a small switch to engage or disengage the oscillation gears so I'm going to take everything apart from this mechanism I need to see inside and wash uh, the entire mechanism so that it doesn't jams and stops the motor from spinning so let's test it and see how it works the motor says it is 12 volt 2 amps but I don't think this wire can carry 2 amps of current inside the motor so I think I may need to change uh, these wires as well so you can clearly hear the motor and it stops spinning as soon as I remove it from the battery, disconnect it from the battery. So it's not bearing its bush and the front bush and the rear bush, both of them are jammed. So this is the oscillation mechanism, you can see it's spinning. So it has a worm gear inside which works along with the shaft when the shaft spins the worm gear rotates and the entire mechanism works it's a pretty basic mechanism and it's fitted in every fan AC or DC okay so let's open up this mechanism as well Well, you can see inside the worm gear and all the grease or oil whatever it has inside it doesn't look good if it's grease then it's all has worn out and it's really sticky I don't want this stuff to stick in my hands So unlike my previous motor, in my previous video, the rear part of the motor was completely made out of aluminium but here it's plastic so that's a drawback. Old things were made of completely metal but new things they just make it really cheap. In this motor the rear part is completely made out of plastic and it's pretty hard to pull it out so I can say the bush is really hard really jammed I need to clean it thoroughly so the carbon brush mechanism is completely different compared to the other motor I'll leave a link on the top right corner about the video related to my previous uh, the DC motor that I fixed in my previous video I will leave a link in the top right corner you can click and see that so in that motor it had two tunnels on both the sides where you can insert the brush and you can tight it or lose it but here it's a plastic holder I believe I can say it a holder it holds the brush and it's completely intact you cannot change the brush 
unless you open uh, open up the entire motor unlike in my uh, in the motor that I've shown in my previous video you can easily change the carbon brushes without opening up the motor so that's a drawback maybe they are trying to make it cheap and easy to uh, build this that's why they maybe made uh, the brush holder in plastic so this is the armature and, and it looks pretty in good shape pretty good shape and it's balanced the commutator also looks good so as I was telling in the beginning of the video that the magnet is pretty powerful compared to the motor that I've opened in my previous video and this motor is these magnets are actually glued to the side casing so I did the same thing I used uh, the screwdriver to test the magnetic field and the screwdriver was not sticking onto the field magnet in the previous motor but in this one it's holding it tight so I think that this motor will spin much faster after it's completely serviced it has some washers in the front and the back so the commutator is little bit I think it needs little bit of service as well it has turned black the commutator has turned black so this is the casing and it looks pretty good the magnetic field is strong so I'm going to wash this motor completely and assemble it and see how it works so that is for another video so this was it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if so then hit the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thanks a lot for watching guys I'll see you soon have a nice day Take care. Bye-bye.